Okay, hi there guys. Uh, I'm doing this video today to show someone how to set up eTouch Jukebox. Now, if you don't know what eTouch Jukebox is, it is a jukebox uh, software which you would see uh, in sort of like a pub. It's not one of these programs which, <coughs> excuse me, um, save up memory jukebox and they're just a media manager now if you go to the free jukebox uh, dot com you can see the features the screenshots you can make a donation i'll go into that in a second and you can also go to the forum now you go to the forum which is here uh, to download public and demo releases but I will go into that in a second. Now as I said about donations um, there are three different types of donations. The first one you will get uh, for $35 this may change at a later date you will get the full home version uh, but without the credit options enabled. Now with this version it's specific to a version so currently at the moment it's version 9 so if you make a donation now uh, your license will be from version 9.0 up to version 9.99 so anything after that you will have to pay extra or uh, usually uh, the programmer will basically give a discount uh, when a new version is um, created. For $70 you will get the full home uh, version again without the credit options but you will get access to the beta section and exclusive skins. Right and finally for a $250 uh, donation you will get the full commercial use. So you can use the credits for, say, like a pub jukebox, and um, obviously you can sort of like, well, basically create a business. Right. Okay. So what I'm going to do, because um, if, say, for example, you've downloaded the demo, you like the demo, you've made a donation, and you want to know how to set it up. Firstly, what you need to do is. And uninstall the demo version simply because that's no good anymore. Right, so when you've done that, you can basically go into public and demo releases, and as you can see, just sent donation, donation made, and then uh, basically your membership will get updated. <coughs> as soon as it is updated, then you will get access to um, skin releases. Uh, where are we? And also, you touch category, you touch skins. Oh, that's brilliant! I can't even see it now. Uh, two secs. Let me. Ah, that's it. You touch uh, version nine private releases. So we click in here, and then basically we can see the releases. So it goes from uh, nine point five. 9.16 is the latest version so we click in that directory um, it gives you some information about what bugs have been fixed what's been changed what's been added um, and various options sometimes it's a lot of changes other times it's not much so here you will see error trapped release and the download link so we click on the download link and that will uh, say do you want to open or save so that's 27.8 megabytes so what we're going to do is we're going to save to the desktop so that's obviously downloading now you'll have to excuse any sound any bad sound mainly because I just brought this to help someone and it's only a one pound or one dollar mic uh, so it's not going to be the best quality okay 
so that's almost finished. Right, so we can go to the desktop now. That is RAD. Uh, so extract that to the desktop. Uh, I, if you haven't got a RAR program, if you Google uh, RAR Frog, I think it's called, uh, that is a free uh, RAR extractor. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut that, uh, shut that down, and then we're going to go to our hard drive. Okay, so we're going to go to C. So we paste that in. And that should be there. Right, okay. Now, the programmers suggest that you run as administrator. So for this purpose, we are going to run as administrator. Okay, so just click on yes. Uh, this just gives a bit of information. Not much, you don't have to read it. Just click on next. Okay. Now, this is asked in for a destination folder. Now, again, the programmer has basically said not to install in C program files, uh, which a lot of programs do not like. Uh, so if we click on computer, you can put it in any drive that you want, but usually you will pull it into C drive. So if we click OK, that will go into uh, C eTouch uh, e jukebox. You can, if you want, uh, go back to computer, go to C, make a new folder, and we can call that jukebox. Oops. I think I've already, yeah, I've already uh, got a thing called jukebox, but I've hidden that just so there's not many icons. Okay, so we're installed to see eTouch jukebox, so click on install. Okay, it doesn't take sort of like too long to install, so it's not really sort of like that bad. So he says. Okay, we should be there now. Right, okay. So, at the moment, it's given you an option, completing uh, the eTouch setup, and then it says, do you want to run eTouch uh, setup? Now, when you just say we're going to sort of like run it now, we're going to click on finish. Now, what this is going to do is basically say you have no uh, database set up at the moment. Um, so as soon as it comes up, okay, it's not going to come up now. Let's call this sort of back here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's saying you don't have any database created. Click OK to run the config. Okay, so this is a config, but at the moment it's in simple mode. Now, if, say, for example, you had uh, separate hard drives, so C is your operating system, D is, say, for example, your uh, MP3s only, E is your uh, music videos, you can basically just change that and then either generate or update. Um, Again, if you wanted, say, to do the music videos, uh, you could put E, but that's only if you've got separate hard drives. Now, I always recommend that you click on Advanced. It's not that advanced, it's not that difficult. This is uh, basically the import screen. Okay. So what we do, we set up the audio first, so we need to go to our MP3s, uh, whatever directory you've done, so double click on that, so you can see that I've included a couple of uh, albums from different genres and different years. Now your first option, name swap, the who, who, the. So, say for example, Rolling Stones, 
If you want the rolling stones, you can untick that and it will be rolling stones, or you can tick that and it will be uh, rolling stones bar. Okay. Use album name on compilations. Now, obviously, you say like now 91 um, is various artists. I never have this ticked simply because I love to see various artists. I don't want to see now 91 for the album and now 91 repeated for um, you know the album title. Now use album artist tag uh, I have been told not to use for music videos. Uh, I'm going to leave that blank for audio. Okay, Gen uh, generate uh, genre libraries tick generate artist libraries tick generate year libraries tick now that will produce uh, music genres like pop music uh, alternate music rock music whatever uh, you genre you have tagged your mp3s again uh, generate artist libraries when we go into the directory then i will show you the artist libraries and the year Again, I will explain that more. Uh, grab artist info from AudioDB. I personally don't like this, but I will do it for the purpose of this demonstration. Um, this grabs logo, uh, pictures of the artist. It will download sort of like a biograph a biography or BIOS, whatever you want to call it. Uh, say you know what someone has uh, typed and pasted in okay generate image thumbnails I don't normally use but what we're going to do is tick this a lot of it is just trial and error about what you like and what you don't like copy and rename first image uh, first cover found so really in your music directories you would have cover JPEG and then it will go thumbnail uh, cover small so that's the size. Now, unfortunately, with this, it hasn't got a save button. So every time you sort of like come back into it, uh, it will default to the settings. Now, again, I've been told to generate library, um, but personally, I prefer to update library because for some reason, for me, it seems to run faster. Um, the day is considered new. Now, when you first load the jukebox, every file, uh, every album will basically be considered new. Now, seven days is a pretty good, um, well, it's pretty good for uh, displaying what you have weekly. But for myself personally, I prefer six. Uh, simply because I want to go from Monday to Sunday, uh, you know, because obviously the charts come out in the UK on a Sunday. Okay, um, here you have use file name when tag not found, but obviously you're going to tag your media, so I never tick that. Uh, use title for album when tag blank. Now, this for me is more regarding music videos um, but again I have that unticked for audio strip non alphanumeric uh, characters some artists like Beyonce or Michael Bublé have little squiggly characters and that strips out those characters um, otherwise it does mess up um, which is unfortunate Okay, so what I'm going to do now, uh, now that I've got my options sorted, I'm going to update library. Okay, so tracks loaded, and now it's going to go through all of the albums. Okay, so now it's finished searching, 80 files have been found, now bu building database. So we click on OK, uh, and that's complete, no errors found. So again, we click, click on complete. There's the artists, ACDC, Blondie, Boomtown Maps, Massive Attack, Shania Twain, Bob Marley, the album, date added, the genres, and the years. 
Okay, so if we go to Edit Tools, uh, a lot of this stuff I do not, uh, I have not used, I cannot talk about it, uh, and personally I wouldn't bother unless, of course, you just want to play. Now, the two main things up here, uh, grab similar uh, from last FN. Now, say for example, you've got Duran Duran. Uh, that will find artists similar to Duran Duran. So it may find Ultravox, uh, it may find Erasure. So that will be part of the program where it will show you alternate artists. So we will click that and then we will also grab the audio database info. Okay, so that's done. The import tools, again, uh, personally I don't use it, and uh, I've never used it, so I can't talk about that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to close this, we're going to go to the eTouch 9 jukebox, Okay, now here you will see uh, quite a few folders and cr quite a few files. Okay, now the only files that you really want to bother about to start with is your config 9, which is where you update your library, the eTouch main jukebox, and at a later date, if you do want to skin, uh, or learn how to skin, that is uh, basically what you will use. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get this set up quickly and then I might go on to other stuff. So what we're going to do is uh, if I... where's skins? Right, there's skins. Now this version comes with two skins. Um, I'm going to load it up and I'm going to show you the skins. So, ah, that's one thing what I forgot. Uh, now, again, uh, the programmers have basically said to run everything as administrator. Now, if we left click to highlight it, um, if you right click, you, it comes up as run as administrator. Now, it's a total pain in the ass to keep running as administrator. Um, so what is easier is to go to properties, go to compatibility, you um, privilege level, run this program as an administrator. So if you tick that, uh, click on apply and then click on OK. And then every time you double click with your left button, it will come up with this, so you ju just click on yes, and it's running as administrator. Okay, this is um, quite fast on loading. Um, if you look for um, a video on YouTube whereby it uh, shows you version 5, you can tell the difference. Okay, this is eTouch uh, Genie. To be perfectly honest, no offence to the skinner, but I honestly hate this skin. Uh, this is not my skinner choice, simply because it is so awkward. Uh, that is my view, other people may like it. Okay, so we've got uh, Pot Hit, Search, Q, Filter Music, Play History, Raw Charts, uh, etc, etc. We've also got the Options menu. Now some skins may have the options menu uh, hidden, uh, so all what you need to do is press your escape key and that loads up uh, the admin section. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do personally is change the skin. So I'm going to load up uh, SXXLXXPNG and I'm going to look into full screen mode. Right, okay. So the next thing what I want to do, because I've made a change, I'm going to click on save settings. Okay. So 
here we have show new one new albums again I'm going to change that to six days to show uh, show album artist names uh, personally I don't show album number because it's um, you know you could have I don't know 25,000 albums and it just takes up too much room uh, libraries are newly added use uh, personally I use all libraries now cover file options uh, you can have large uh, cover file cover file small and uh, back cover now for me personally it's a case of I always use display first image find uh, simply because I've got better image quality uh, the video and visualization options uh, if you've got a second uh, monitor um, you can go for uh, show now playing on the second screen show added to queue on the second screen and then obviously uh, you would basically adjust your monitor resolution now uh, let's have a look for general settings uh, save q1 shutdown so if you queue an album um, that will carry on playing uh, when you next log on uh, personally I have that off um, you can exit the program say for example um, you know your pub closes at 11 o'clock and you want it to switch off at I don't know 20 past 11 then you can just set the time now uh, enable transparency just this will be a setting that you will play with um, so that will give you some transparency on uh, the skins use file name if no tag found but again it, you're going to tag your files display track numbers uh, show track first compilations I haven't got a clue jump to play options on a single track now this is uh, basically great if you're uh, uploading say like a music video whereby you've only got uh, one music video in that directory uh, show confirmation when track added uh, that is optional but just say uh, thank you for uh, putting on this track uh, genre year clickable to filter uh, you have that on enable webcam and messaging uh, I never have that on that is up to you if you do or not auto back on the selection uh, once you've made your selection that will take you back to the screen Display media type and track list. Again, I would suggest not uh, having that on simply because it will add too much information. Hide quick jump covers uh, you don't want. Um, hide track length that can be on and off or off. Show alternate tracks, show rating stars. So that is um, what was that? General settings. So the random settings uh, you can set to enable random uh, play. You can select by genre, by selected artists, or by years. Um, so you can also add uh, top ten years. So it goes by sort of like a weight for uh, you know how many times uh, these songs have been played. So again this will be something that you will play with and you will basically get to know what you like and how you want your jukebox set up now again this is um, to show what you do and what you don't want on a screen now say for example you're setting this up uh, for a party at your place now personally I do not want display play, uh, player controls because obviously I'm going to set up my volume beforehand so I don't want people turning it up, turning it down, pausing it uh, etc. 
So pretty much this is all trial and error about how you want it. Um, you may not want the license agreement because you may not want people to see uh, your license. Um, you may not want people to log into their retouch. It just depends on how you really want it. Now a track mode. Uh, again, um, you will put attraction files, HTML or Shockwave Flash, into a directory, uh, and then they will play after a while. It's pretty much as you would see in a pub. Uh, coin settings. <coughs> uh, this will be for more commercial users. Uh, so really, uh, unless of course you are a commercial user. Um, then pretty much it's not really sort of like needed but you can set how many credits um, each um, unit has so you can play next um, which may cost more credits etc online settings uh, usually the programmer says to turn this off uh, because sometimes it can slow the jukebox down uh, this will obviously be worked on at some point uh, key shortcuts, uh, again if you're using a touch screen uh, jukebox you may not have a keyboard, well you may have a keyboard or you may have a keyboard hidden, um, so you may want some uh, fast track keys set up, so again this is all uh, basically how you want it. Uh, security settings will basically enable you to either enable or disable some options. Sorry, I need a bloody cigarette. Um, the queue settings, uh, this will allow you to either allow duplicates, uh, set queue read only, limit size, uh, crossfade for uh, tracks. Uh, you've got a mood directory uh, which say for example uh, it's in say like an Indian restaurant you could have sitar music in your moods and then uh, that will end up playing after a while animation settings um, you can you will have to go through these and literally see what works for you you do not have to uh, use it. I never use it um, personally. Uh, well, you have a slider for how fast you want it, uh, but for me, it's just a bit too flashy. Uh, so it's just something that I never use. Now the LD LED sign will be too bright. If you haven't got one, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, clean screen. I haven't got a clue. Well, that cleans the screen. It's annoying because it, you know, takes ages to come back. Okay, so I'm waffling now. So I'm going to save settings, and we want to go back onto our jukebox. Right. Okay. Let's go back there. Uh, appearance settings. Right. Let's load up that skin. taking a little while. If you notice, um, ah, sorry I missed that. Okay so this is another skin. As you can see we got ACDC, High Voltage, Blondie Blondie, Bob Marley Legend, Boomtown Rats. So this is all the albums. Obviously when you add more albums that will all uh, come under. Now if you click on the audio, obviously it will take you to your MP3s. If you click your videos, it will take you to music videos. And then karaoke, if you've got karaoke. Uh, you can click on newly added, most played. Spin will just randomise um, the albums, what will show on the first screen. Um, so there we go. So if you click on album view, uh, you can click on that. That will take you back to the main screen. Uh, you can search for a track. So uh, that will search for track. That will search for artist. 
that will search by album. So if we get out of that, uh, hot hits will basically be for uh, the songs that you play most on your jukebox. Uh, you can create uh, playlists. So if so, for example, you want Bon Jovi. you can just create your playlist. Um, you click on more options, certain skins are different, uh, you've got collections, my e-touch, uh, set up to go back, charts, uh, this will bring up up to six uh, different charts. Uh, this is something what really you have to play with. There are files that you can download um, so if we go to UK charts, uh, let's go for, right, okay. So this is just basically a text file uh, which gives you the chart for uh, September 2014. So we got Taylor Swift there, number three, shake it off, blame it on me, George Ezra. Okay, so pretty much that is the front end all sorted. So what we're going to do is get out of here now. Uh, we're going to just power off and then we're going to go to the directory. Okay, so the adverts you don't need to worry about if, unless of course you're a commercial operator or you just want a bit of flash for home. Now the artists, this is basically uh, generated CVR file but all what a CVR file is, uh, just a text file we name with the extension CVR. So you can see that it's C, MP3, AC, DC, 1975, high voltage. Um, so you don't need to edit that, that will do it automatically uh, when uh, you update the artist. Now a track mode, again, you would put your uh, attraction files like the HDMI or shockwave flashes in there uh, but again unless of course you want to mess around with that now because we went to uh, grab artist we got banners here so we got banners for ACDC, Bob Marley, Massive Attack and Shania Twain okay beat bright that would be your settings Uh, the BIOS, this will give you information about that artist. Now you can go to Wikipedia, uh, you can copy and paste, and then you know you can just create your own uh, BIOS file. But obviously that takes a bit of time, um, and it depends on how much you want your jukebox to be. Now collections, uh, you do have to have specific files, uh, JPEGs or something like that. Um, but if you want uh, 100 greatest uh, w, w, yeah, sorry, I'm getting tongue tied now. W albums. Uh, this is a list uh, of 100 titles, uh, and then once you have it set up properly, that will show in your collections. Okay, fan art again, uh, basically because you went to uh, grab uh, from audio database uh, you've got fan art here for Shania Twain that will show um, on the skin what you're using now the genres right what you've got again is a CVR file uh, that will basically have uh, the artist and the album uh, which is um, for that music um, for this uh, what you need to do is you need to have a JPEG image uh, I'm not sure if I've got one to hand to be honest oh, let's go wrong direction right ok let's copy that so uh, we would basically have that as country music or uh, you would have an up JPEG image for dance music, reggae music, rock music. Uh, it depends on what you've called your genre. Uh, 
you do this simply because when you click on genres um, you will see the image for the country music um, so that is just uh, for looks now the history is regarding the charts and uh, if I go to the UK charts goes uh, from 1953 um, again um, if let's have a look 1994 so you can see 12 uh, text documents now uh, it's very easy number one is January number 12 is December and then there's 10 you can now have up to 100 um, file uh, tracks uh, now you see new GIF, uh, up GIF, and uh, yeah, there's down GIF. Now this is sort of like hard encoded, um, but you can change uh, the image. Um, so when you go to the charts, new will obviously be flashy, uh, same. This is a new song, up and down, uh, basically the same. Okay, so there's the images, uh, that's the rating stars, uh, that's the thumbs up, uh, so there's that, uh, you don't need to worry about that. Lists, uh, again you can have uh, lists but you need uh, images to go with that, uh, so that will be more as you get down the line. Logos. <coughs> as I've explained before <coughs> this grabs from the audio database so specific skins will have the fan art in place and then it will show uh, on the specific artist messages you don't really need to worry about um, but say for example you've got it set up the wife uh, wants, I don't know, the latest Westlife album. Uh, rather than tell you, she might uh, type on the jukebox and then it will store in messages. Now, moods is um, again where I said about if you're in an uh, Indian restaurant, um, <coughs> you can put, say, like sitar music in there and it will play after a while so again no adverts you don't need to worry about online providers uh, that will be for RSS feeds etc uh, random uh, you don't need to worry about uh, requests uh, your skins is obviously the skins directory the TTS is a new feature if you don't want the um, file saying welcome to eTouch you can delete that or you can say um, you can basically create your own message and then you can just exit and that will save that the next time now like the genres you've got years so again this will basically be a case of um, you need the JPEG image and then you would uh, simply rename it to the year. So pretty much you would have, say, like 2002 JPEG. And then when you go to years, that will show um, on sort of like the years. So you can click on it. Um, so have a look. Chart Archiver um, is something what I don't use. Uh, pretty much I would say get used to uh, doing stuff first the config 9 as I said uh, that's recommended but you run as administrator but if you click on properties compatibility run this program as administrator click on apply OK and that will update your database credit module you don't need to worry about because as for commercial operators CBR creator decades build um, that will um, match the artist uh, to the chart so 
if say for example you've got happy by Farrell Williams on your database uh, that will mean that you'll be able to click that file uh, but that would be something what you will get into history edit I don't bother with um, but non mp3 tagger uh, I personally hate that is my uh, prerogative on that but this would be to do music videos so if we go to Will Smith switch um, what I've done I've got it as uh, 2009 Will Smith switch okay that never worked so uh, let's leave that uh, the skin tool that obviously enables you to uh, create a new skin or edit an existing skin uh, but that will take uh, time uh, but it is quite good fun uh, song fact, uh, fact builder if I load that uh, you can find different songs uh, let's have a look yeah this is all done for you um, but you can create your own uh, so 10 years uh, artist 10 years song empires uh, and then you can add up to five different facts and uh, personally it's something what I don't use but some people do right I'm gonna finish there because this video is probably very long-winded uh, so hopefully that has helped you I apologize about the waffling so let's try and close this down now okay thank you good luck